Zoro, Luffy, Kaku, Luchi, they're all teamed up against the two Seraphims, S-Hawk and S-Bear. And as expected, they're not really struggling against the two. However, S-Hawk is missing. This is worrisome because while they are strong, S-Hawk can still do some crazy damage if they find any of the other crew members. So somebody has to move fast because they believe that S-Hawk has changed his assassination priority and the Seraphims will just leave the strongest for later. Of course, that'll be really beneficial, especially to the stronger targets because they can rattle their brains and all sorts of stuff. I mean, we already saw Luffy after Ace died. And of course, Zora's gonna be the one to say, don't worry, I'll go after him. Like he's actually gonna find S-Hawk. Not only is Luffy now worried about his crew getting hurt, but he's also worried that Zoro's just gonna get completely lost. So he asked Kaku to help him out. But the best part is, as before, he thinks that Kaku is Usopp because of the long nose. And he tells Kaku, you have to go with him, Usopp. Kaku's like, what the hell did you just call me? I love that Luffy's still doing this to this day. It just, it, it got a good laugh out of me. You know, now that I think about it, has Kaku actually ever run into Usopp face to face to understand this whole no situation? Because I can't remember. Somebody please remind me. As Kaku goes off with Zoro, Luffy continues the assault on S-Bear and he uses a Hawk Gatling. By the time we reach the end of the chapter, we finally see who the traitor is this whole time. When the chapter ended last week, we saw Shaka got shot right in the face and now this silhouette figure reveals himself. I don't think that I saw many people say it was this person either beforehand, but the traitor this whole time was York. And I'll be honest, I didn't see this coming because of a previous chapter where S-Snake uh, turned York into stone. I thought for sure that York wasn't a suspect anymore at that point. But what she says next is even more interesting. As we know, all the Vegapunks have different personalities and something to label them as. York is greed. So what she says next doesn't surprise me. The reason she's a traitor in all this is simple. She's gonna become a celestial dragon. And while I don't know exactly what events led up into her wanting this, it all goes back to her being greed. She's greedy, she wants the best of the best. Who has more luxury in this world and more freedom in this world than a celestial dragon? They're at the very top and not many can tell them what to do. The actual Vegapunk is even confused and says, you went to Marijuas a couple years ago, you really wanna be one of those guys? So I imagine that she went there to the Holy Land a couple years ago, saw the lifestyle that these guys were living, and at that point started devoting a plan to becoming one of the Celestial Dragons and struck up a deal with the government. Will they uphold their end of the deal? I don't know. Besides becoming one of them, it's also complicated to her having everyone Vegapunk, so having one Vegapunk is the best option. She desires ultimate power and desires to be the only Vegapunk. Did you guys see this coming and figure it out York was the traitor the whole time? Let me know. Oda definitely got me with this one. I never really even suspected York is the traitor. I thought that she was just this lazy character who wasn't much of a big deal. And that's probably why I didn't suspect her as a traitor in the first place. I didn't think she'd be the type of character that we need to really pay attention to and turns out that she has a huge scheme. At one point, I didn't even think any of the Vegapunks were the traitor. I thought Oda was going to pull a fast one and swap them out for somebody else at the end of the day though all these vegapunks are intelligent they're a part of the original vegapunk i'm only curious on how it goes on from here so i can't wait to see the next chapter and i saw those damn spoilers come out today so i'm trying my best to avoid them i'll see you guys on the next review i'll review it from the start to finish this one i didn't really have too much time but i wanted to dabble into it a little bit thanks for watching guys i'll see you guys on the next one